Earlier we talked about the earth and its moon. But do you know what the moon is? The moon is a natural satellite. Satellites are small heavenly bodies that move around planets. Like planets, they do not have any heat or light of their own but shine by reflecting light from the sun. The moon is the only natural satellite of the earth. It looks so large in the night sky because it is the closest celestial body to the earth. If there was no moon, there would be no tides in the oceans. Unlike earth, there is no life on moon. It takes about 27 days to complete one revolution around the earth and in this time it rotates only once. Along with the moon, there are some artificial satellites orbiting the earth. These are man-made satellites which have been placed in the earth's orbit by scientists. These artificial satellites help in navigation, gathering weather information, creating maps and even spying. They also make it possible for us to call our friends and families living in other countries. Are these the only heavenly bodies in the solar system? No. Other than planets and stars, there are also asteroids, meteors and comets. Asteroids are planet-like bodies that revolve around the sun along with other planets. They are believed to be pieces of some planet that exploded a long time back. Meteors are small pieces of rock and sand in the solar system. They are commonly called shooting stars because when they enter the Earth's atmosphere, they start burning due to friction and become luminous. The Lunar Crater Lake is a saltwater lake in Maharashtra which was created by meteor impact millions of years ago. Comets are composed of rock, dust, ice and frozen gases. Each comet has its own elongated orbit around the sun. Comets are visible when they approach the sun. They start glowing and develop a long tail. The most famous comet is Halley's Comet which was last seen in 1986. It will again appear after 76 years in 2062. That's how huge the solar system is. But still, it is a very small part of the universe. Plenty of solar systems make a galaxy and crores of such galaxies make up the universe.